All right, hello everybody. Today we're gonna be playing and verifying Acromatic by Frisky. This level's been in the work for quite a long time. I was slacking on actually verifying this for around five or six months. I was I was slacking on this verification quite a bit. All right, so Acromatic. The intended difficulty for this level is to be around moment or bloodbath difficulty. So that should range around the 500s on the all rated extreme demon list. Like always, I'll go through the level, give you some tips and tricks, and I'll even show you some of the skips that I kept in the level that you can do yourself if you feel like avoiding some clicks or just making it easier for yourself. So with the beginning of Acromatic, this pretty drop might feel much easier compared to the rest of the level, which is intentional. I, I didn't want the pre-drop to be annoying or boring. It still has relatively difficult parts like this ship part right here. This always killed me. Most of Acromatic's balancing is around the middle of the level. I also tried to really make it so that there's no choke point clicks in this level. There is a huge difference to me, at least, between choke points and choke point clicks. Choke points can generally make or break a level depending on the choke point. In this level, there are choke points, and I will get to them later, and those choke points were made on purpose. Keep in mind that I was also unable to change a lot of the parts in this level just because they were really hard to change, just because of the way the decoration is. This wave part right here, it might be hard to see, but you have to go through a spike corridor. The click pattern right here is the most consistent click pattern I found for this wave part. Other than that though, this wave part isn't hard at all. It's the easiest wave in the level. This robot part is just reliant on your timings. I'm unsure because as the only victor soul verifier of this level, I'm not sure how this part truly plays from zero because I got really consistent with it right off the bat and I was in charge with balancing it. So if it plays terribly, uh, please forgive me. This is also my first verification. So keep that in mind. This spider part is really easy. I gave you lots of leeway in this spider part so that you don't really find it annoying. And this cube part is just some pretty simple memory. So yeah, at 43% actually, you're at the drop. The drop wave is the second hardest part in the level. It's just because it's a bunch of wave timings. It's a pretty linear wave part. If you don't know what you're doing, it's gonna be really hard. I would definitely recommend practicing this part so you get consistent with it. This is a part you really wanna be consistent with. This part is much easier than it looks right here because if I show you the hitboxes, you'll see that a lot of the hitboxes aren't even real. That is by design, at least for me. I wanted the part before this ship to be free because this ship is the choke point of the level. This is this is by design, but this ship part is the sole hardest part of the level. A lot of playtesters agreed with that, and I agree with that myself. It doesn't look that hard. Trust me, it, it's pretty damn hard. And you have a yellow orb click right here. It was controversial between a certain playtester. If you want to skip it, you just can. For this duel, it may look jank at first when you play it, but you just want to hit this green orb late, hold, and then hit the black orb. And then most of these are just timings. It's not that bad of a duel part. And if you really feel like it, you can just, <laughs> you can just do this and you can skip all that. I think that was just a funny addition. The rest of this level from here on out is fairly simple. That is once again by design. I didn't want the beginning or ending of this level to be annoying. I just wanted the middle part to be difficult. If you want the first coin, you just want to hit this yellow orb in the middle or just this UFO portal in the middle and just skip this toggle trigger. It's not that hard to get, but I could imagine it getting chokeable from zero. This ending isn't difficult at all. Um, honestly, it might be one of the easier parts of the level. If you want the coin, you just gotta swoop up. That was Acromatic. I'll leave my opinions on the level for after the video. But other than that, this is my first verification, so this will mean a lot to me. If you're checking out this video for the first time, definitely go to this level and show it some support. It's on the real Furkies account. I'll leave the level ID and the song download link in the description because this uses a nong. Overall, it's just a fun level, I guess. Let's go, I did the run! I did the run! I don't know where it's from. <laughs> Let's go, 68 to 100. Ugh. Oh my God. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I died to an easy click. It wasn't even that long for, to get that run right after. All right, nice. Two runs. Woo! New best. Oh, let's go. Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Holy fuck. I fucking, I, <laughs> I forgot to click. I got so nervous. Holy shit. Oh my God. Oh, I got so nervous. 
Oh fuck! I died. To, I'm 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 nerfing that click back, <laughs> guys. I just realized I'm on zero death no clip. I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> what? I don't, I'm not I'm not counting that. I'm I'm not counting that. I I I don't I I, I don't consider that a legitimate completion. Oh my god, what? Yes! Yes! <laughs> Let's fucking go! Go mute me! Let's go! Let's go. So I verified it! Holy That's shit! Hey. Oh. Fucking finally! Oh! Alright, that was Acromatic. The gameplay of Acromatic is pretty fun in its base form. I did find the pre-drop to be specifically annoying in some parts. Very specifically, the first cube, the first ship, and the first ball. Once you get past all of those, however, the gameplay becomes really fun, especially in its base form. I'm not going to comment much on the balancing of the level, but I did find the middle section to be the most fun part of the level, surprisingly, despite it being balanced around that part being the hardest part. I didn't have any gripes with the middle part, and the ending part is very easy. So, at the end, I gave Acromatic a 9 out of 10 for enjoyment. Uh, this is very strictly based on how lucky I got with the level and the fact that it's my friend's level. This is completely biased. I'm just gonna be honest, this is gonna be a 100% biased review. As for the decoration of Acromatic, even though Frisk executed the styles pretty well, if you don't know, Acromatic takes inspiration from a bunch of levels. As you can see, the first robot part is based off of Hatred, and the wave part is based off of Nine Circles. The one gripe I did have with the decoration is that it was inconsistent. It was never really a problem to me, but that just brought down my enjoyment of the overall level's decoration quite a bit. Uh, this happens quite a bit with levels with inconsistent deco for me, and even though that's the point of the level, I'm not gonna lie, it just wasn't the best for me, so I gave the decoration a 6 out of 10. For this being one of Frisk's first levels on the servers, he did a very good job. I want you guys to go to the level and comment some very nice things to him and try to get the level seen by as much people as possible. Uh, if this gets rated, that'd be awesome. But if it doesn't, then oh well. Anyways, thank you for watching. Have a good day.